Hello and welcome to another Zenfi tutorial. As you can tell by the title of this video, today we're going to be going over how you can automate the process of three-way matching. If you're not familiar with three-way matching, it's a very popular process in the accounts payable department. This can not only ensure accuracy inside of your documents, but it can even avoid things like fraud since in many cases invoices come in that aren't exactly legitimate, so this ensures that all the information matches and these are actually real documents. For this example, we're going to be using this purchase order form, this good receipt note, and this invoice, which are the three documents that are compared for this process. We're also going to create this Google Sheets that we'll be using as a template. As you can see inside of the headers, I have indicated certain values that you would be able to add if you wanted to. And what we're going to do is create a row for each one of the documents. I'll be inserting the document name in column A. The first step to any Zenfi flow is to set up your trigger, which is the action that initiates the flow. In this case, we're using the Gmail trigger, meaning that every time an email comes into your inbox, it's going to initiate the flow. To be able to do this, all you have to do is click on Create New Connection. What this is going to do is grant Zenfi permission to be able to monitor your inbox and check whenever an email comes in. After you click on Authorize, you'll be able to see your email down here in the Dropbox. However, we can even add something called a conditional run. What this is going to do is help you save flow runs and only run the flow when you actually want it to. So in this case, I have added a clause by clicking on yes and then we click on these dials here. We're able to indicate when the subject contains certain words or maybe when the sender is a certain person. In this case, I have selected when the subject contains the words three-way match documents. I want it to run the flow. To be able to select this, you're able to click on this icon. This is called a token picker. It allows you to enter data from previous steps. So in this case, the trigger. We're able to see different fields here. So you can choose a subject, maybe when the body contains certain words or when the email is coming from a certain person. You are able to select that here. Now the first action that I have is called current date and time and the reason I am using this action is because I want to be able to add the date whenever the documents were matched. To be able to do this all you have to do is choose a time zone and then select a format for the date. If you just want to add the month and the day, if you want to add the year you can also add the time. The next action we have here is to be able to copy the template that I showed previously so this action is called copy file. All you have to do is set up your connection to your Google Drive the same way we did for the Gmail. This is going to be able to allow Zenfi to be able to access your Google Drive and check the files. So once you have enabled your connection, what we're going to do is select which file we want to copy. So in this case, you would click on the Google Drive icon and search for the file inside of your drive. After you select that, we also have to select a folder where we wish to save the copied file. So again, you would select a folder in your drive and click on select and you're also able to change the name of the copied item. The next action that we'll be using is this one called parse email address and what I'll be using this for is to be able to extract the email address from the sender. So in this case we have a field called from inside of our trigger. If we click on the token picker we're able to see it here. However the from address not only does it include the email it also includes the person's name. So this action allows us to be able to separate those different fields. Here we have the display name, the email address, the domain, and now we're going to be able to use that email in our next action. This is called share item and this is going to ensure that the person who receives the Google Sheets at the end of the process can actually see it. So we're going to set up our connection once again. We're going to indicate which file we want to share with them. In this case it would be the sheet template that we copied. You can choose which role you want to assign to them, just commenter if you want them to be able to read, write. Here we would choose their email address from the previous action. So if we go to extract email, we can choose their email address. You can also enable the option to send them an email once you have shared the file. However, since we will be sending the document at the end through an email, I would omit this option. So in this case, we would be using a for each loop to be able to cycle through the different files. We have to indicate a collection. So using the token picker, we can select the attachments from the email. And we're going to be using a very powerful tool called the expense document processor. 
This gives you the ability to extract multiple fields, not only the ones that we'll be using in this video. So if you take a look at the output of this action, you can see just exactly how many fields it's able to extract. It's a very, very powerful tool. So feel free to use this for other processes as well. We have to indicate which content we want to process. So if we click on the token picker, we can select the content of the attachment. Now, as you can see here, I have a couple actions that I have added. These are for personal preference, but sometimes the action does return the values with certain quotes or brackets. So I have implemented certain regex patterns to be able to remove these characters, but if they don't bother you, you don't have to. However, keep in mind you are able to do so. Now this next action that we're going to be using is called add row. This is going to allow us to be able to add the row of each document to the template. So we're going to set up our connection, indicate the file ID, which would be the sheet template that we copied. So in this case, this would be the ID. We're going to indicate the sheet name, which would come from this part here. And then all you have to do is assign which value belongs to which column. So for example, here the total amount, I would click on the token picker, go to the expense document processor, go to summary, and if we scroll down to the bottom, we're able to see the total. We can open up this section and we can select on value. And you would do this for each one of the columns. This next action that I'm going to be implementing is called delete rows. And I'll be using this action to be able to remove this row here, the second row. I have added a hyphen, and this is only because Zenfi copies the previous row when it adds rows. So in this case, I wanted to copy the format for this row. I don't want the rows that are added to be green and in bold. All you have to do is indicate the file ID. So again, it would be the copy of the template. You indicate the sheet name. And here you can indicate which rows you want to remove. In this case, I only want to remove a single row, row number two. Okay, and now the next three actions are going to help us compare the values since we want to make sure that certain fields match. So what I'm going to be doing is creating an action for each one of the documents. This action is called lookup row. So what I'm going to be doing is seeing which values were assigned for different fields. So in this case, all you have to do is again select the file ID, the sheet name, here I only want to search in one column, which would be column A. I want to search for the one that says invoice. And now down at the bottom, you're able to indicate which columns you want to retrieve. So I want to retrieve the total, the items ordered, and the quantity. And I'm going to repeat this process for the different documents. In this case, for the good receipt note, I'm going to search for the good receipt in the document and I only want to retrieve the PO number and the total amount. And then I have the purchase order, so here I'm going to search for purchase. And then down at the bottom, I want to retrieve the total, the items order, the quantity, and the PO number. And you would do this for as many fields as you want to compare. And then what we're going to do is use a couple of if conditions. So the first one is, do the PO numbers match? So in this case, I have added a clause when the PO number for the good receipt note is equal to the PO number from the purchase order note, it would go to the next step. If not, they're going to get a message of discrepancy in the PO number, and here we would be able to see the values, how we can see the differences. However, if it is true, it's going to move on to the next one. Do the quantities match? And same thing here, we're going to be comparing the quantity from the purchase order to the one from the invoice. And this would be repeated for all of the different sections. Here are the total. If the purchase order total is equal to the invoice total and the invoice total is equal to the good receipt notes total, then it will go to the next one. Here we want to compare the total in all three documents. And then lastly, I'm going to be comparing if the items ordered match. So again, if the items ordered in the purchase order are equal to the ones in the invoice, then it will go to the true branch. And now if all of these fields accurately match, you're going to want to send them an email. So here we have this action called send email. We're going to set up our connection. We want to send the email to the email we had extracted at the beginning. The subject says no issues found during three-way matching. And I have added some text as well as a view link to the Google Sheet. To be able to get the view link, all we're going to do is go to the copy sheets template and we can see the view link down at the bottom. By adding it as a link, it will also show up as an attachment in their email. However, if any discrepancies are found in any of the fields, they will automatically get this email. 
again using the same action sent to the same person. We're going to change the subject to discrepancies found. And again, we're going to add some text and add a view link. Now we're going to go ahead and save and test run. As you can see, we're going to initiate a test session. Now, as you can see, the flow run has completed, took around a minute to be able to analyze and add everything. So it is a very quick process, a lot faster than it would be if we do it manually. So let's go ahead and open up our email and we'll check the file. In this case, you can tell by this step that all of the items match. So we did get the send match email. And now here we have the email, no issues found during through way matching, and we can open up the Google Sheets. And as you can see, all of these items do match as well as these and these and the purchase order numbers. So as effectively compared all the values inside of all three documents in under a minute and a half, which is very impressive. And remember what's awesome about Zenfi is the processes are very customizable. So if you feel like adding or removing actions from this specific process, you're able to do so. Make sure to leave any questions you have down in the comment section and remember that you can always book a free demo meeting with our specialized team where we can go over ways that Zenfi can help your business. Thank you so much for watching.